Earth Heroes. I'm super excited to have a story time with you. Now, being that April is the month that we celebrate our wonderful Earth, I figured it'd be a really good idea, since we're at home all the time, to share one of my favorite books, which is called Michael Recycle. Now, what do you think Michael Recycle does? Yep, he is a big recycler, just like my Earth Hero Recycler. So let's dive in and see what this guy has to say. Ready? This book is called Michael Recycle, and it's by Ellie Bethel and illustrated by Alexandra Colombo. There once was a town called Aberdu Rimey, where garbage was left to grow rotten and slimy. It never smelled fresh, the air was all hazy, but the people did nothing, they got rather lazy. There we go. Then something happened that none could explain. It wasn't a bird and it wasn't a plane. A green caped crusader soared through the air with a colander hat on top of his hair. He bounced off the earth with a thump and a bump and then landed head first in the town of Garbage Dump. He brushed off his suit as he jumped to his feet and grinned at the townsfolk who he'd come to meet. I'm Michael Recycle and I have a plan, but I need your help, everyone, to a man. The sky and the river are smelly and brown. Soon 50-foot bugs will take over your town. You've got to recycle. You've got to act soon before all your trash reaches up to the moon. Then crushing a can, he gave them a wink and vanished from sight before they could blink. Miss Mooncotch explained to her friend, Mr. Crew, did you happen to hear what that boy said to do? Clean up and recycle, how hard can it be? A green and clean town would be lovely to see. They recycled their paper, their plastic, their cans, and even old junk like used pots and pans. They also began the Big Greener campaign. They grew their own kumquats and saved up the rain. So proud was the town of their green transformation. They grew a great party, a grand celebration. They covered the town in green toilet paper, then rolled it back up to use again later. You may think that's yucky, but these folks don't agree. And ever do rhymey. Recycling is key. When Michael came back to visit the town, he didn't despair, get angry, or frown. For everything looked so clean and brand new, the sky and the river were again a bright blue. Look at our town. It gleams and it glitters. Now nothing's wasted and nobody litters. To Michael Recycle, the green caped crusader, our super green hero, the planet's new savior. But Michael Recycle was nowhere around. He'd already moved on to help the next town. So if you should see a green silhouette streaking the skies, please don't get upset. The noises you hear, that clunk and that thunk, it's just our friend Michael recycling old junk. Now, there's a few things that we can do, especially during Earth Month. And according to Michael Recycle, he's got a lot of go green tips. So recycle, recycle, recycle. Find out can, what can be recycled in your house. Find paper. Maybe you can find some paper plates as long as they don't have food on them. You can recycle tin foil as long as it doesn't have food on it. That's one of the biggest things. I think sometimes people can get a little confused as to what can be recycled in their own trash cans. Well, I can tell you this. If you have something that you can crumple up in your hand, like a sandwich bag, can't recycle that one. But you have something like a hard plastic, like this cup, you can definitely recycle this one. So if you're not sure, you can always check online or you can check the Miss Smarty Plants website where we have a list of wonder, wonderful things that you will know how to recycle. Anyways, it's time for me to go. The next time you see one of these great story times, you might get a visit from one of my sisters. Yep, Miss Marty Plants has sisters, but we all say the same thing. We can change the world with our own two hands. Bye.